Splashes of orange in this field can only mean one thing. Halloween is on the way. Pumpkin Moon is a seasonal pick-your-own pumpkin farm where families come to enjoy a day out. But like many businesses, it's been forced to change and adapt due to the pandemic. This year we've reduced our numbers by about 70%. Um, it is an awful lot, but the main priority is to keep everyone safe. We've introduced ticketing with limited time slots, so we get people arriving within a one hourly slot throughout the day. Tickets cost $2 each and pumpkins can be bought for $1 to $10 depending on size. Under normal circumstances, up to 7,000 tickets are sold on a weekend. This year, just 2,000 are being made available. These pumpkins were planted in May to be ready in time for the October harvest. Back then it was a guessing game as to what demand would be like and now with the additional cost of extra sanitisation and social distancing measures, the farm's owner says that it won't be turning a profit this year. And that's despite being sold out through Halloween. I think everyone's in the same boat. It's about just trying to survive and make sure we are there for next year so we can hopefully reopen in a sort of better environment. Last year, the UK spent $600 million on Halloween candy, costumes and decorations. Research firm Global Data predicts that could fall by around 10% this year. There's a lot of uncertainty about Halloween spending this year, and that's down to a number of variables. That it's hard to know how consumers are going to react. Firstly, in terms, of, um, in terms of families, whether they want their kids to go out trick-or-treating, going up to, uh, uh, to other doors, handling stuff that's been given out by strangers, whether they want to have parties and invite uh, kids into their home, whether that would go over the course of the rule of six. So that might well cut back on a lot of spending around costumes as well as confectionery. While Halloween seems to have many spooked this year, there does appear to be demand for outdoor activities like pumpkin picking. But having to reduce the volume of customers is proving to be all trick and no treat. Natalie Powell, TRT World, Kent, England.